the propellant line that runs up the side of the strong back that carries liquid oxygen will vent that line down to make sure there's no liquid in it when we get to liftoff. When we do that, we open up valves on the strong back. And as uh, Kate and Marie were talking earlier, when we vent off that very cold, gaseous oxygen, it'll merge with the warm, humid Florida air, and you'll get a large white plume of condensation off of the back of the strong back. That'll be normal coming about a minute and a half before launch. Everything continuing to look good. Two locks load is complete. Dragon is an auto idle. All right, with that, the Falcon 9 is fully fueled. We have fuel on both the first and second stages, and both stages are filled with liquid oxygen. Gas closeout has started. Expect loud venting. Dragon is also in auto idle. The flight computer is on Dragon. Maintaining their calculations, standing by, waiting for the T0 mark. One minute, 15 seconds until launch. The one minute mark Dragon will transition to countdown and the flight termination system will arm the computers on Falcon 9. We'll be talking to the computers on Dragon and can issue an abort if necessary. FTS is armed. Falcon 9 is in startup and is now controlling. Dragon is in countdown. All right, 50 seconds to go. Everything is ready for an on-time launch today. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. Copy, go for launch. Ground teams are ready and the crew inside Dragon is ready. 30 seconds to go yeah, until launch. Seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Mission. And liftoff. Got speed Endeavor and crew 2. Copy, 1 Alpha. Endeavor launches once again. Four astronauts from three countries on Crew 2 now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. The vehicle is pitching down range. Nine Berlin engines on the first stage providing 1.7 million pounds of thrust. Hearing good calls on first stage performance so far. We are T plus 30 seconds into the second rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Falcon 9 will be throttling down the nine Merlin engines shortly here in preparation for um, in preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. And there's that call out for the throttle down. Maximum dynamic pressure max Q is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees throughout ascent. So throttling down does help us pass. One Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. All right, one Bravo is the second abort mode on the first stage. The first stage continues to fire for two minutes, 35 seconds. One and a half minutes into today's flight. Falcon 9 now traveling at 1,500 miles an hour. And uh, can you chill started? All right, the engine chill for the second stage single Merlin engine has started. About 30 more seconds of the first stage firing to bring our four astronauts into orbit. Now from here coming up in about 20 some seconds, we're going to have three major milestones. We'll have shutdown of the nine Merlin engines. We're beginning to throttle them down. We will then get stage okay, separation, down, down. and then we will get ignition of the second stage engine to propel Dragon and the Falcon 9 second stage into orbit.
Nico. Copy, 2 Alpha. Acquisition is And we have ignition of the second stage. You see the green flash of that T-tip fluid. The ex extend expansion nozzle on the second stage Merlin vacuum glowing that bright red that we like to see with performance on the second stage so far. And on the left side of your screen, we saw the uh, exhaust of the second stage engine streaming past the first stage as the grid fins are coming out. We also briefly had a view of the lights of Central Florida in the background. Currently, the first stage is continuing to coast up to Apogee. It's unpowered. It'll reach a peak height and then begin to descend back down toward the Earth's atmosphere, where it will light three engines to slow down in preparation for what will be a landing burn on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. You can see the grid fins are deployed. Right now, the first stage Dragon pulsing. SpaceX trajectory nominal. We're pulsing the thrusters. Copy, nominal trajectory. We hear a call out from the crew, nominal trajectory. So we're beginning to move the first stage into position so it can do the entry burn. Four minutes, 15 seconds into today's flight. Second stage propelling our four astronauts up the eastern seaboard. We'll continue to fire. It's a six minute burn to deliver the astronauts into orbit. We'll wait for a cue for a good orbital insertion after that. Meanwhile, we will be hearing uh, check ins on the vehicle's trajectory and performance, as well as check ins with some of the ground stations as it passes over uh, throughout uh, the six minutes of the second stage firing. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy nominal trajectory. Getting good views of both the first and second stage from the onboard cameras. And the after tracking station has acquired the second stage telemetry signal. Meanwhile, the first stage has reached Apogee, and it's now beginning to descend from uh, a height. It's currently about 167 kilometers up. And in a few minutes, we will get the entry burn of the second stage, of the first stage. Nominal trajectory. Right on cue, those check ins on the second stage performance. Once a minute, everything's looking good on stage that second stage. Propulsion is nominal. Stage two continues to climb. The vehicle now exceeding 8,000 miles an hour at an altitude of about 124 miles. Just about one minute from now, we will begin the entry burn of the first stage. That'll consist of lighting the center engine, and then shortly afterwards, two more engines for a three engine burn to slow down the first stage in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere. Trajectory. Another check-in, crew confirming they're hearing the same thing. The vehicle exceeding, are about to exceed about 10,000 miles per hour. Well, first stage down at 90 kilometers, getting ready to relight three engines for the entry burn.
center engine ignition, and there come the two side engines. Now this entry burn will last about 29 seconds. It's gonna significantly slow down the vehicle in preparation for hitting the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. Entry burn complete. We're down below 35 kilometers. Continuing to look good on the first stage, heading to the Atlantic Ocean for a landing on the drone ship. While well, second stage is less than a minute away from cutoff. Stage two in terminal guidance. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Shannon called out at the back end of stage two, a few seconds until cutoff. Acquisition signal, Newfoundland. Shut down. Dragon SpaceX launch escape system disarmed. Launch escape system disarmed, copy. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Copy, nominal orbital insertion. All right, the Falcon 9 second stage has done its job delivering our four crew into orbit. You hear the applause here on Hawthorne. We're waiting to get a video signal back from the drone ship. Of course, I still love you. And the view from the onboard camera we saw it just briefly. It looks like first stage on the drone ship. Getting views of the Dragon truck. So the first stage is on the drone ship, successfully landed. And more importantly, second stage is in a nominal orbit with the Dragon spacecraft getting ready for some important events coming up. Expect the boss's signal Bermuda. That's right, about two more minutes. The Dragon and the second stage of the Falcon 9 will be in a coast phase take that long until the spacecraft separates from the Falcon 9. Of course, both uh, now in a nominal orbit. Great to see some of the views of the Earth as it passes by over the North Atlantic Ocean. spacecraft separation. Dragon traveling at nearly 17,000 miles per hour and an altitude of 124 miles. The person crew of Endeavor is in orbit right now. Spacecraft separation. Ten seconds to spacecraft separation. We should hear words from the core here in uh, Mission Control Hawthorne once we have successful separation. Crude Falcon 9. Sierra side crew 2. 
Thank you very much. We're great. We're glad to be back in space for all of us, and we'll uh, send our regards to Crew One when we get there. Thanks. Inside the cabin, seeing the excitement of our four person crew inside Endeavour, and watching Endeavour drift away from the camera on the second stage as the Earth passes by on an orbital sunrise. And Endeavour, you uh, cut out a little bit there. If the question was uh, if you're go to open visors, you are go to open visors at this time. Stop in work, thanks. 13 and a half minutes past liftoff. The crew is in orbit, traveling at nearly 17,000 miles an hour. Well, oh, Gary, I don't know about you, but uh, that was a great countdown. Everything sounded great. Right on time, it's actually a little ahead of time. Non dehumidifier activation and service section Draco checkouts. Got a good orbit out of Falcon 9, and first Shot stage landed on the drone ship, and we're in the sunlight over the Atlantic Ocean with the Dragon spacecraft. All in all, a great day. I think everybody's jealous of the crew in orbit right now, John. Uh, these views, even just from the cameras, are absolutely stunning. It was great to see our crew members uh, get into orbit. They already performed successful checkouts of the 12 service section Dracos around Dragon. Next uh, milestone will be the deployment of the nose cone. That'll be about a five minute process, but that'll expose the forward bulkhead Dracos and prepare them uh, for checkout. There's a phase burn. There's five major burns that are needed to get the Crew Dragon up to rendezvous with the International Space Station over the next 23 hours. And so that first phase burn is coming up real soon in about uh, 35 minutes, actually less than 35 minutes. Trying to look for it. I'm looking for it too. No, I am on that left hand screen. Meanwhile, the uh, Dragon is configured for, for a nose cone deployment. Stand by for uh, when that sequence starts. The nose cone itself opens uh, just beyond 90 degrees, about 105 degrees, to expose the forward. Uh, bulkhead Dracos, those forward bulkhead Dracos, four of them at the very top of the Dragon will do the bulk of the work when it comes to firing the Draco engines for minutes at a time to increase the uh, Dragon speed, altitude, and phasing to catch up with the International Space Station again over the next 23 hours. Meanwhile, we're still getting camera views from the second stage, looking at that expansion nozzle did its work beautifully to deliver the four crew into orbit. Dragon over the North Atlantic Ocean. And Gary, this is John. I think I heard a call out on one of the Dragon nets that the uh, first set of nose cone hooks is open. So it sounds like that sequence is going well. Very good. Well, from here in Hawthorne, it was very exciting to see the uh, Falcon 9 liftoff and deliver 